Okay, this video is going to show you how to create a table of values using the class quiz calculator to help you. So, if we were given quite a complex um, equation like y equals 2 to the power x minus 1 over x, then we've got a combination of two graphs in one here. We've got what we call an exponential graph, where we have the power is the x value whatever the x value takes, in this case it's taking values between minus 2 and 3, including minus 2 and 3. And then we're subtracting from that 1 over x, and we call this a reciprocal graph. Okay, so we've got two quite um, complex um, equations um, in one, and we want to be able to create a table of values and then plot the graph. Okay. This video is not going to show you how to plot the graph, but this video is going to show you how to create the table of values. So, we want to create a table of values for this equation, and it needs to be between these two values. So, in reality, we want a table of values starting at minus 2, because we have the inequality sign with this line underneath, which means that we are including the number minus 2, up to the number 3 and including 3, okay? So what we can do is we can um, use our class with calculator to help us create that. Now, on the class with calculator on the menu, we have somewhere, I mean, depends what, what which variation of the class which you have, uh, you have a table function. Now, you can either scroll across to find the table function, and my table function is, is function number 9, okay? Or if you know it's number 9, then you can just press menu, press 9, and it'll take you there straight away. So let's go back. So if you don't know which one it is, you can scroll across until you find the table, and then press equals. Okay. Once you get there, we have f of x equals on the screen, and that is just, that's what we call a function. And that is basically a replacement of the y equals here. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to input the rest of the equation. Okay, so we need to input 2 to the power x. So we're going to put in a 2, we're going to press the power key, and then we're going to put an x. Now there's an x on your calculator here, so we're going to press that. Okay, then we're going to arrow across, because if we didn't, it would continue to keep writing where the x is, which is in the power. And then we're going to subtract from that. Um, we need a fraction, so press the fraction key, okay, and then we're going to subtract from that one arrow down over x. Okay, so we've got our equation that we had originally in our calculator. And then we're going to press equals. Now we then have g of x, that's if you wanted a second equation, which we don't, we just want one equation in our calculator, so we're just going to press equals again. Now, our table needs to go from minus 2 up to 3, including um, negative 2 and 3. So, where do we want it to start? We want it to start at negative 2. Press equals. That will take you down um, a row. And then it says, where do you want it to end? It wants to end at 3. So, we're going to press 3 and press equals. And what does it want to go up in? It wants to go up in steps of 1. So, press equals through that. Then what we have is we have our x values here with our corresponding y values and you can arrow down to find all of the values if they're not all on one screen. Okay, so I'm going to now go ahead and I'm going to fill in my table. So when x is negative 2, y is 0 0.75. When x is negative 1, y is 1.5. When x is 0, we have an error. I'm just going to put a line through that, and that is because if you've studied reciprocal graphs, what you should realize is that if you divide, obviously if you divide anything by zero, you get an error on your calculator. You can't divide by zero, so that is why we end up with an error here. So don't worry about that. It just means there's a break in your graph. So when x is 1, y is 1. When x is 2, y is 3.5. And when x is 3, y is 7.7. .7 round it to one decimal place. And that is how we use our class ways calculator to create a table of values.